Good day once again to you, good day, brothers and sisters. I welcome you all to our Eucharistic celebration. Our Mass for today is also the Thanksgiving offering of Tatay Godoy and Nanay Medi Sandoval, Henry and Carrie Dizon and family, Imelda Falman on the occasion of her 60th, 66th birthday last March 16, and Marie Atienza. We continue to bring to God the special intentions of all the members of the PGG service team, Aaron Moses Ebner, Emi Alcaide, Guillermo Santos, Ron Abanes, and Fe Lindenberger. We continue to pray for the complete healing and recovery of Vivencio Tolentino Sr., Lot Caraan, Rachel Ann Valino Sumpit, Virginia Santos Navarro, Cristina Alegre, Andrew San Beneventura, Malu Navarro, Ami Mekicek, Rosita Villanueva, Robin Jimenez, Candy San Juan, Perlita Pabro, Susan Buendia, Ricardo Di Maano, Princess Valenton, and Samantha Valenton. We remember our beloved dead, Mirna, who died three days ago, Asteria, five days ago, Seraphine, five days ago, and Christine, three days ago. May they all rest in peace. My dear brothers and sisters, from today on and in the Holy Week, the opposition between the Jewish leaders and Jesus is growing. People always tend to adore their own God, a God or gods made in their own image and likeness, that rather than accepting in humility, conscious of our limitations, that we are made in the image and likeness of God. But we are fortunate enough to have Christ, as the Hebrews had Moses, a mediator who pleads for us, whom we can easily accept and identify with, because in him we can recognize one of us who opts for people, who defends us, who is involved with us, in spite of our failures. Let us now put ourselves in God's presence as we welcome Him in His Word and in His body and blood. Our entrance antiphone. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. We are gathered in the name of God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, to profess ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Let us now prepare ourselves as we ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, we know, perhaps more in theory than in practice, that you are with us that you are our God and we your people. Forgive us, Lord, when we fashion our own gods made in our own image, honor, power, prestige, things to which we are attached and enslaved. Remind us again and again that you are our loyal God who made us in your own indelible image and who shows us your perfect likeness in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. 
The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten cup and worshipping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such a great power and with so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down, relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised. I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the bridge to turn back his destructive breath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. May we all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice, nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. 
even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's a very beautiful line of, or flow of thinking or activities comparing the first reading and the gospel. And this refers to the works, the works of God the Father and the works of Jesus. In the first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the works of God the Father has been shown. And uh, what is this? Yeah, for example, to the people of Israel, he delivered them from Egypt. He delivered them and rescued them from slavery. And they are now going to the promised land. But hard-headed and stiff-necked, these people, uh, as they are, they remained unfaithful to God. They were unfaithful to God and remained unfaithful to God. In fact, in today's first reading, they made their own God in the image that they want Him to be. An image of a molten calf. You know? At this point in time, Moses was having his 40 days <laughs> retreat, 40 days and 40 nights on, on Mount Horeb. Uh, talking with God and uh, immediately God told him hey go down go down to your people because look they created a molten calf they created a God for themselves and they said oh Israel look this is the God who delivered us from 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 the Egypt from the Egyptians and God was so furious he was so angry that he wanted to eliminate to exterminate the people yeah they make their own gods we can really find somehow ourselves in here when we make our own images of God in the forms of prestige, power, position, and possession. And these are the things, the created things that we adore. Marami na tayong topic na sinabi tungkol dito, but sometimes without knowing it or unconsciously, we are still into that. Sabi nga, maybe theoretically we are praising God, but our lives are still far from that because of having other gods. And that is the real sense of idolatry. Again, four Ps. Prestige, power, position, and possessions. The created things that compete with the Creator. And so God was so angry. No? I have done my works and you have, are not obe uh, obedient to my commandments. And he wanted to er eradicate them, to exterminate them. But Moses, on behalf of the people, pleaded. Pleaded to, to Yahweh not to do that. He has his arguments. Ano po yon? You will think that these people uh, will be thinking you delivered them out of Israel for you to kill them? No? Are your power so weak that you cannot, uh, that you will use this kind of power of killing them? And how about your promise to Israel, to Isaac and to Jacob? Not that they will be having descendants. And so if you will kill them, what will be? No? And then sabi dito, so the Lord relented his punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The mind of God was changed because of the intercession of Moses. Pwede natin paguhin ang pag-iisip ng Panginoon, mga kapatid, basta dito, kung talagang ito is para sa mas makabubuti sa mas maraming tao at sa ating sarili. We can, through our prayers, we can somehow change the mind of God no? to remove his fear, to, to his anger on us. The responsorial psalm is also a summary of the of what happened in the first reading. No, the people who forgot God and who saved them and had who had done great deeds, they have forgotten, and um, yeah, they they instead uh, adored a molten image. They have exchanged their glory for the image of grass eating bullock from the prayers of the uh, from the um, responsorial psalm. In the gospel, this is the continuous fight between the Jews and Jesus. And sabi nga, from this day on until Good Friday, this is the continuous fighting. So this gospel is the continuation from yesterday, wherein Jesus is really 
putting and uh, introducing himself, putting himself before the people to say that he is the one sent by the Father. He is the Son of God. But the people don't believe, even if they see the works, once again, of Jesus, the works, works of healing, the miracles to, to, to heal the sick, no? and all of this, especially the poor, the, the needy, the, the kind of manifestation of the love of God through Jesus, he has shown us as the work that could testify to them that he was the one sent by the Father. But no, sabi nga niya, you, you remain in your unbelief. You do not accept the Son of God. You even look, search in the scriptures looking for eternal life. But even the scriptures, scriptures are pointing to Jesus. John the Baptist you have accepted, but he's speaking of the truth about Jesus. And if there will be who, someone who is going to accuse you, it is Moses. You believed in Moses, but Moses pointed to me. <laughs> Moses made a testimony for Jesus, but you do not accept this. You are so uh, blinded by your, yeah, everything that you believed in, and you refuse to accept Jesus. And so, Yun, the works of God the Father and the works of Jesus were never accepted by the people to which it was given. But we Christians, baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we believe. We believe in these works of God. And as believers, we should also do these works, these good works as we go through life. And sabi nga rin, magandang sinabi ni St. Francis, uh, preach the gospel at all times and use words when necessary. <laughs> Iba, pahayag natin yung Ibanghelyo ng Panginoon, ang salita ng Diyos, at kung kailangan magsalita tayo. Ibig sabihin, the works that we do, we may not speak, we may not talk, but if people see in us the smiles, the belief in God through the things that we're doing, the good works that we are doing for our brothers and sisters, helping them out, the forgiveness that we do, uh, this could be done silently without words, but this speak louder than voice as regards the presence of God in us. Tayo ba yung madada na kulang naman sa gawa? O yung tayong gumagawa ng gawain ng Panginoon kahit na wala tayong salita? The second option should be the choice that we should make. Na walang masyadong salita pero yeah, masaya pa rin sa buhay. Nakamiti kasi kahit may problema dahil nagtitiwala tayo sa Diyos. This should be really done in our own lives. Continue embracing Jesus, embracing His cross silently by doing our worship and helping our brothers and sisters. And surely, we will be embracing Jesus in heaven. Amen. Habang inilalapit natin ang ating mga kahilingan sa damba ng Diyos, hingi natin ang lakas at pananampalataya upang makasunod sa Kanyang kalooban. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Tingin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga Kristiyano sa lahat ng dako na way manalangin ng higit na mataimtim sa panahong ito ng kwaresma. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, tingin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga walang pananampalataya na way makinig sa salita ng Diyos upang sila ay maligtas, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, tingin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga kasalukuyang kaguluhan sa simbahan na way malutas sa paglago ng pananampalataya, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, tingin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga mahihirap, may sakit, at mga may kapansanan na way madama ang presensya ng Diyos sa kanilang buhay, sa pagtataguyot ng kanilang mga pamilya at kaibigan, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, tingin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga yumao na way makarating sa kanilang walang hanggang tahanan sa tulong ng ating mga panalangin, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, tingin mo ang aming panalangin. Muli sa katahimikan ng ating puso, itaas natin sa Panginoon ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan. Gayon din ang lahat ng mga pamisa ngayong araw na ito. Ama, turuan mo kami sa pamamagitan ng Espiritu Santo upang hayagan naming aminin ang aming pananampalataya 
sa pamamagitan ni Kristong aming Panginoon. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. May the mingling of this water and wine bring us to the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of joy. Bless be away my sins, cleanse me from all my iniquities. Pray, my dear friends, that we and our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. God, your Son is still alive among us in this Eucharistic celebration. Make us realize that despite our false attachments, our hesitation and cowardice, He opts for us. He is involved with us. He is your sign among us that you still accept and love us. Father, thank you for Jesus, your Son, who stays with us and shares our destiny now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us now proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this, this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Christoph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Putting all our praises and petitions into one, we now pray to the Father in the words of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Friends, brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Friends, this is Jesus, our God in our midst, in the humble form of bread and wine, broken that we might become whole. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you, you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only, only say Lord, the word, and my soul shall be. The body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion antiphon. I will place my law within them, and I will write it upon their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people, says the Lord. Let us pray. Lord our God, we thank you for giving us Jesus as your living sign among us of your strong and faithful love. 
May we too, Lord, every one of us who claims to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, take the risk of being to our brothers and sisters a firm support, a true sign of your everlasting love. May this be the way we testify that Jesus is alive among us, now and forever. Amen. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, for being with us in this celebration of the Eucharist. Maraming salamat ni Brother Henry Dizon for continually helping us in the media. Sister Agnes Antonio and the Brother Neil and Sister Yasmin for the first reading and Sister Mel Apostol and San Mateo for the prayers of the faithful. Maraming pong salamat. Kita-kita po ulit tayo bukas. The Lord be with you. May the good and loving Lord bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The celebration is ended. Let us go in the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.